What's going on everyone? Honda Fit for Adventure here and today we're going to be replacing the third generation Honda Fit map light with a 2018 to 2021 Honda Odyssey map light. The main reason for doing this is to gain a sunglass holder and as a bonus this nifty little mirror. This was a common swap to do in the first and second generation Honda Fit that utilized the map light console from a Honda CRV. This particular console had the same mounting points and electrical connections as the first two generation Honda Fits, requiring little to no modifications to install other than cutting into your headliner. Oh, full commitment now, right? Unfortunately, the third generation Honda Fit no longer uses the same electrical connections as the CRVs. This is where I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that I discovered that a 2018 to 2021 Honda Odyssey map light console uses the same mounting points and electrical connections as the GK. All right, so these are the Honda Odyssey lights plugged in via the stock GK5 connector. The bad news is that the map light console that I ordered arrived slightly damaged because it wasn't removed properly. Both mounting points of the Honda Odyssey console were broken off. Aww. Now this was supposed to be a relatively easy plug and play swap to show you, but with the attachment points broken off on the Odyssey console, I'll have to do some modifications to make this work. Let me explain. The Honda Fit, Civic, Accord, and many other Honda vehicles utilize one of the two mounting bolts as a ground connection as it gets secured into place. Without the bolt secured into the side of the map light with the metal o-ring, the lights will not be grounded and they will not work. What? I could have returned the console and scoured eBay for another one, but this was the only one available at the time in a similar color and that also showed images of the electrical connections on the back so I could confirm that they work on the Honda Fit. They just didn't show the broken off tabs. To add some salt into the wound, the GK circuitry was totally exposed on the back and easy to follow, while the Honda Odyssey, well. Anyway, I didn't let that stop me as I cut some new plastic to repair the damage, drilled some holes to line it up with the ceiling, and added a new o-ring terminal for a ground connection. I may have blown a few fuses, both physically and mentally, trying to figure out which is the grounding path on the broken console, but I eventually figured it out. <gasps> I'm going to swap them out to LEDs. I'm going to take out the fuse though, just in case... I don't want to blow another one. That was my last 7.5 amp fuse. So here's how I swapped a Honda Odyssey map light console into a third generation Honda Fit. First things first, you should probably disconnect your battery in order to prevent a blown fuse. After our battery has been disconnected, we can go ahead and remove our stock map lights. To do this, you'll just have to take a flathead screwdriver and pop off the lens covers. Once the lens covers have been taken off, we can then remove the two Phillips head screws that attach the lights into the ceiling. With the screws removed, the console should be able to come loose from the headliner. We just have to disconnect the two wires from the map light and then our old console should be fully removed. Although there is plenty of room in the headliner to accommodate the Honda Odyssey overhead console, you'll have to line up the console perfectly to utilize the two pre-existing attachment points. All right, I put the lights back in the center console thing here so I could see if the bolt holes are going to line up or if I needed to trim a little bit off the front. Make sure there isn't any wiring running behind the headliner where you're about to cut. Make sure there's no wires up here. Cut off small pieces at a time and continuously check your progress to make sure you don't remove too much. Cut your way back into the bulge of the headliner. You're going to stop roughly at a foam block that's tucked up inside. After the console fits snugly into place and the attachment points line up with the ceiling, remove the console once more to reattach the electrical connections. Once the connections have been reconnected, we can now attach the console into place. Some fit owners use double-sided tape to help secure the back end of the console to the ceiling. My install was a super snug fit and did not require any additional tape or secure points other than the two factory bolts. You can now reconnect your battery and test out your new lights and admire them in awe. 
This is going to wrap up today's video on how to swap a Honda Odyssey overhead map light console into a third generation Honda Fit. Hopefully if you choose to do this swap, you won't receive a broken part like I did.